But major drama has finally just dropped on top of us this episode of Chuni Season 2. It was predictable. We all guessed this is what the actual major drama would be about in Season 2 of Chuni. But honestly, I'm not disappointed. This episode was very enjoyable. Had a lot of development with actually two major characters, Sophia and Rika. And that's really what this entire episode focused on. Even though Toka got reintroduced this episode, we get to see her once again in Season 2. This episode really did not focus on her. It really did not. Even though there was a character introduction with a little girl that was like only age 7 that wants to be a samurai. The episode didn't focus on her. It really felt more like, I guess, a fillerish type part. What really this episode was about was developing the romance feels with Yuta. So, let's talk about the ending first. So, Sophia has the spark of love finally reactivated in this episode, and that she is starting to feel feelings for Yuta. So, a love triangle is on the way. So, I wonder how exactly Kiyoani is going to, I guess, take this path with the love triangle that is most likely going to form now. So, even though we now know that Sophia finally has love back for Yuta, and we can see probably love troubles in the near future with Rika and Sophia, I felt like it was handled properly. The actual, I guess, spark of love coming back into Sophia felt proper in the way she was slowly feeling feelings for him again because she was helping out Rika, remembering memories of how she felt about Yuta. So I think it's all logical why Sophia feels like the way she did in this episode. Now, Rika, the, the major development of this episode was pointed right towards her of how she was losing her powers of her Chuni Syndrome. She was offered two decisions that I guessed a couple of reviews back, pretty much saying either she's going to have to give up her Chuni Syndrome or most likely she's going to have to give up Yuta. Which, honestly, all of us fans would probably be very pissed if Rika chose the path Sophia chose of giving up on Yuta. So most likely, Rika's going to choose the obvious and most likely give up her Chuni. But it was very unexpected the way this episode was taken. It was taken to a way where pretty much Rika chose both. Like, she says, I want to stay a Chuni, but at the same time, I want to complete my lover's contract with the Dark Flame Master. So, I like the way it was handled, I do, but at the same time, it kind of agitates me a little bit, because even though I love the Chuni Syndrome, that's what this entire series is about, I think Rika should really develop out of this syndrome and actually grow as a character, and that's where they should end the series, because that is exactly how I would actually love the ending of the series, getting to see Marika actually mature as a female character. And that's what I think majority of the fans really want to see. I don't know if a lot of people do, but I I think that's what I would want if I wanted a good ending of this series. Now, the music was good this episode. I really love the feels and the music of this episode. It was a heart-touching music. Just, you know, nice, good, you know, beach episode. Was some fan service this episode, especially with Deco Mori. Holy crap, the fan service. We had some new Vitani fan service. All, all sorts of different fan service to all our female cast. Now, really, the fan service, you know, it was fan service this episode. It didn't distract the major points of this episode. So, I feel like Yolani actually did the right thing this episode. Didn't feel exactly like a filler episode. And this was probably one of the best plot-based episodes we've had in quite a couple episodes. So... Honestly, do I like this episode of Chuni Season 2? I do. I, I really do. But I may be kind of upset with the actual love triangle finally starting to form. But I guess that's something to be expected when they try to actually probably focus on Sophia earlier on in this Season 2 of Chuni. Since she is going to be like a love rival to Rika. So, I feel like it's a good idea, but at the same time, it's a bad idea. It just really depends on the way they decide to take it and the way how Sophia is most likely going to interrupt Rika and Yuta's alone time together. I like the episode. Tell me your thoughts on it. Did you enjoy the animation, the music? What was your favorite moment? And do you feel like actually Sophia having the spark of feelings for Yuta again is a good thing? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please stay safe. Chibi out.